I have made an update video like three times and then I wait so long to edit it that it becomes, I don't know, it just feels outdated when I start to edit it. So I'm going to try to do this <laughs> and actually get it edited and put up on the same day so that I stop doing this to myself because I feel like it's time to do an update and today is as good as any day to actually successfully do that. Go. My pasta has many times to wait. What do you think? Oh, dude. Are you mommy right now? You look a lot like mommy right now. No, you're not mommy, you're Tessie still, right? <gasps> Splashes. I thought you might realize that. Yep, it's fun. Water's fun, baby. Come on. You guys are silly. <laughs> and there should be the bus coming to me. If you watch our videos regularly, you know I haven't been making as many videos as I used to. There isn't any big reason for that. I'm not making this update to announce that I'm quitting YouTube or walking away. Um, really, it's just been that there's so much going on that I've had a lot less time. I've been choosing to do other things rather than make videos here. And I think also sometimes I overthink the videos that I make here. Part of that is probably that while our channel is still small compared to big channels, um, it's big enough now that there's a good chance that, that people who know me and who know my kids are going to find it. And so making videos while I while I have always been conscious of doing things, looking at my videos while I'm making them about whether or not they could potentially be embarrassing for my kids either now or in the future, that has become even more important because I know that when my kids went back to school, people knew about our channel. <laughs> and so I'm a lot more conscious of that now. I've also been pretty exhausted because I've been spending a lot of time gardening. I have gotten into ex doing some experiments that are over here in my little makeshift greenhouse in my office with hydroponics and figuring out works what works best. <music> and actually moving the garden outside. Now that it's not freezing here, fingers crossed it doesn't freeze again, 
during the nights. Um, I really want to do an update on my ADHD meds because I've been on them for I don't even know how many months now but months and months and I would love to make a video talking about that and I think what my ultimate goal is once I finally get kind of settled into a routine again is to post on Mondays and Fridays maybe one like vlog or fun video a week and one sit down video a week but I'm not really committing to that right now that is my goal though is to kind of get back into the routine of doing that um, I have been making a lot of videos I've been making a lot of review videos um, they just aren't here <laughs> And all you really do is slide them on. Um, as you can see, they have like just their silicone, I believe. These are two of the same side. I need to find the match. It's still fun to pretend. Um, these would be awesome for cosplay or for Halloween or just for dress up. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Just fun. They're big enough that you can really see them. I've discovered that I actually like making those videos. I can have a lot of fun being creative, doing super fast craft projects that show how they come together, or puzzles, or stuff like that. The kids are doing good. I think almost everyone is ready for summer. Sadie just finished up track. Maggie is definitely ready for pool parties. We have already had a couple. The boys are so creative and fun to be around, and Tessie has grown so much this year. I am sick. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I'm getting better, but I think I've had the flu or something flu-like, not COVID. I took a COVID test, so at least it's not round two with COVID. I did have my sleep study and it came back. I don't meet the criteria for apnea, but like Tessie, I had um, central apneas and hypopneas and my watch was actually right. That night my watch showed that my DSATs went down to 87 and the study said that I was down to 87 that night. So I guess Tessie comes by that maybe through me. I don't know. The good thing was it was only 3.3 events or whatever it's called. 3.3 per hour and you have to have five to actually for it to be sleep apnea. So I don't qualify as having sleep apnea. Tessie can write her name she also, I'm trying to think of a, a little update for each person, and I'll start with the youngest. Tessie can write her name. She also heard me say that there was a snake in my garden, and while all the other kids headed the other way, she charged over and ran after it. And while the snake had just sat there while I was gardening and not moved, it saw her coming and raced out of the garden, which kind of meant me one which kind of made me wonder if they had met before. She has definitely got Maggie's love of snakes and bugs and spiders. Bugs and spiders should be afraid to be in the house because those two will want to play with them. All my other kids are not fans and I, I'm not either. So Patrick and James are very into their dreams of making a video game of their own. James is talking about possibly doing Cub Scouts. There's an information meeting coming up. <laughs> Patrick was not interested, but that might have just have been because we were talking about it very early in the morning. So when he's a little bit more awake, I want to talk to him and see if 
it sounds like something he would be interested in. As I said, Sadie just finished track and she is planning on doing cross country in the fall. She is also having a lot of fun experimenting with hair colors and I'm glad that everything I learned about how not to fry hair is being put to good use. Because I learned a lot while experimenting on my hair, which is finally really pretty grown out. And I'm getting a call from Tessie's school. Oh no, this can't be good. How are you? What's your tongue? What are you doing? She got stung by a bee because she picked it up. That fearlessness. I think it is her first bee sting, so maybe it will make her a little bit more careful with bees, wasps, other animals that I've seen her try to pick up. Probably not though. <laughs> I think Tessie wants to swing with you, Maggie. If I'm gonna get this done, I better go because the kids are gonna be starting to get home on their buses in about half an hour. I still have one more hill of squash or pumpkins or watermelons, something that I need to plant today if I'm gonna keep on schedule, especially because the plants I'm looking at right now in my office really need to be outside like a week ago. They're getting so big, but there just aren't enough hours in the day. That is it for today. I'm going to try to post a day in the life video that I recorded already actually on Friday. And so that is my goal. I'll take it week by week and we'll see how that works out. That's it for today. If you like this video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in all things autism, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll see you on Friday. Bye. I even forgot my own outro. That tells you I need to make more videos.